Yo, Michael Jr. here. How you doing? YouTube watcher beans, human people. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody that initially was going great, then all of a sudden something just happened? Like you hit the dry spot, it's really not that engaging anymore. And sometimes it happens when you see somebody you ain't seen in a while and you get excited. You be like, yo, what's up? How you doing? I ain't seen you so wild. And all of a sudden you're like, yeah, it's been cool, man. Shoot. Shoot, man. You can always tell when this is happening too. You or the other person will start to repeat the last part of your last sentence. This is good weather we're having, huh? <laughs> Good weather we have. I'd love to talk to this pretty lady right here in the stripes. She's got on stripes. What's your name? Adria. Andrea. Oh, that's cool. Adria. Oh, you changed your name. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Stay at home, mom. Cool. How many kids? Two. Two? How old are they? 19 and 17. Okay, you're almost done. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Time to get a map and find out what's in the world. Time to do that, yeah. So to just stand at home all the time, just stand at home. So stay-at-home moms, what's the, what's the hardest part about being a stay-at-home mom? What would you say? Laundry. They're 17 and 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they gonna stay at home forever if you keep doing their laundry. I just, yeah, I think I can help you out with a couple of things. Let it pile up, let them start to stink, and they'll bounce. I got five kids, man. We, my, we still do laundry for our five-year-old. The rest of them gotta work it out. Right? And they're actually younger. <laughs> just made that up, it's not true at all. Can I talk to the gentleman behind you with the tie on, the cool guy right there? What's your name, sir? Uh, Ray. Ray? Like a little Raymond? too much bass in your voice right now, Ray. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> sound like the Lord. You sound like the Lord to me right now, Ray. Thank you. So you're, what's your name? Ray, like Ray. Raymond. Oh, Ray. Okay, cool. If, yeah. if you double up on your name, you'll be a brother. You know that? <laughs> okay, cool. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I'm an orthodontist. A what? Orthodontist. Oh, that's cool. Notice all the beautiful smiles around here. No? <laughs> you want me to shine one of them lights on your face like you do us? You ask what you want us to do, just... I can get one of them lights to... You married? Yes. <laughs> what, is she competition across the street or something? I don't understand what... <laughs> no, 25 years this year. This is my wife, Lois, and these are my grandkids. Oh, right, right there. Here. This is your wife? Right there? Yeah, the pretty one, yeah. Wow. I know, Boy, you didn't think I could do it. <laughs> she is beautiful. Your name must be Ray Ray. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> wow. Cool. What do you like most about your job? Uh, I like to enhance people's lives and how they feel about themselves. It really makes a difference. I like that, dude. You went way deeper. You know what I'm saying? You could have just said, I like fixing their face or something, but you went <laughs> enhancing people's lives. That's pretty dope. Right. Cool. Anyway, um, I love to talk. Can I talk to this couple right here on the end, please? That'd be cool. Yeah. What's your name, sir? I'm Terry. Terry? Cool. Your yeah. name traveled four ways. Yeah. What's, what, what do you do at the church? I'm an usher. Wow, you look different in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, got, you got one move. This is your only dance move right here. This is your only dance move. Yeah. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you, sir? <laughs> cool. What do you like? What do you like about ushering? Mm, just helping folks. What's that? Just helping folks. Just helping folks. Cool. Yeah, because they don't pay that well, do it. No. <laughs> Is that your wife? Beyonce. Beyonce, whoa, this is mad cool. All right, where'd you, where, where'd you guys meet? Here. Ah, uh -huh, you really do like ushering, don't you? 
brother's like, I got a seat for you right here. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. So what was your approach? How'd you approach her? How'd you so, roll up on her? What happened? Uh, well, actually, we met on Christian Mingle, and then she started coming okay, to Okay, there we go started. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something. It was Christian Mingle? Yeah. Or it was just regular Mingle? No. Okay. Christian, Christian Mingle. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So you're no, online. We're cool. We're cool. So how, how was it when you, when you first met? Because first you were online, everything was fine. No, no, then no. You... I was honest. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying... <laughs> <clears throat> when you approached her, I mean, after you first met face-to-face, -face, what was that like? Oh, that was, that was wonderful. You don't got no details. Let me talk to her, man. <laughs> That was wonderful. Hello, what's your name? Pam. Pam. I like the name Pam. I don't know. I just like saying Pam. <laughs> cool, Pam. So what you so so what you think when you first when you first met him? Thought he was handsome. Handsome. Okay, cool, cool. How long have you guys been going out? Ten months. Ten months. Whoa. When you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Amen. When y'all gonna do it? Get married, stuff. When y'all get married. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why they laughing right now. I don't know why they laughing. Yo, that was cool. Here's the thing about dating some folks. This is one thing I always tell the ladies. It applies to the men too, but I love to say this to the ladies. Ladies, if you're a Christian, right, you want a man who's lined up with your stuff so y'all evenly yoked. You know what I'm saying? You don't want a man who just yoked, but he ain't evenly yoked. <laughs> That was dope. So you want to make sure you're yoked. Otherwise, it's just going to be a joke. And jokes are good for what I do, but it's not that great for you because it'll put you through a thing or two. So don't go dating a joke. Date somebody who's serious about having fun and loving you. That's all I'm saying. About to drop a little something. Wait, I already did. Here it comes. Boom. <laughs> anyway. Don't forget, next week, right here, we're dropping more break times. Like, for real, same time, you can see it right here, or you can come to a show and see a break time live, maybe even be in a break time live. And don't forget this part. You can also leave a comment with a question. We might ask the next audience that question. You can see your question. It's almost like we're recycling what you're thinking. Boom. That could be phenomenal. Awesome. I appreciate you. Like, on the real. Um, it's the same shirt I had on for the last one because uh, I didn't wash. So my mom didn't, she tripping. So I'm point that out. Hope she ain't hear me. Hey, I gotta go. Yo, we thought we would just insert this little insert real quick. This is what we're gonna add to the break time experience. What I want you to do right now is leave a comment asking me any question you want to and we're probably going to answer your question at the next break time. So it'll be cool. Any comment, you can ask Michael Jr. whatever you want about whatever. And then at the next break time, at the end, probably right about now, we're going to answer them questions. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. I really want to hear from you. So do so, Caruso. Like, yo.